so deep down inside in some area of your life you are feeling frustrated you are feeling that your efforts are not rewarded they are not been rewarded in any way that you think it should have been and now you are wondering if uh, the course of journey which you had set for yourself in the last six months or in the last nine months is it still going to work out or you have to take a different course of action altogether so these are some of the questions which you are pondering because currently in the sky venus is combust and in the current moment it is quite combust in fact it's almost conjunct the sun in the sign of cancer in ashlesha nakshatra both are in ashlesha now and because of that we can sometimes feel that what we are doing is not uh, it's not enough for what is required to be done all right so we may feel a sense of frustration we may feel a sense of deprivation we may feel a sense of alienation till 7th of september but there are many positive sides to this which we will try to uncover during this video in short hopefully and what happens with venus depends on your own horoscope where your venus is placed where sun is placed where cancer is in your chart depending on your ascendant and which house is most importantly venus rules depending on your ascendant okay so if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me to understand your uh, chart in a better way or any other area of your life or regarding this transit then you could always go down to the description section where you will find the link to my website below and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him before or after the combustion so now what is combustion basically combustion means when a planet is literally very close to the sun so for venus they say that around 8 to 9 degrees is the degree of combustion for venus so which means if venus is 8 degrees behind sun less than that or in less than 8 degrees ahead of sun okay the sign could be different so for example suppose you have sun in uh, 1 degree of leo and your venus is in 25 degree of cancer then also it could be considered to be combust okay but suppose you have sun in the same sign as venus both are together they are conjunct but they are away almost 9 or 10 or 11 degrees then that is not a combustion okay so there's this big debate on uh, if venus and sun are in different signs then is venus combust well of course it is combust okay because combustion is not more to do with the signs it's more to do with the degrees okay but let's understand what happens uh, when a planet is conjunct and especially venus because uh, venus gets combust uh, every nine months almost okay once in nine months for some time and because now venus is going ahead of the sun so the combustion is for very long time you know in october last year november when the com when the retrogression was there because venus was going back then the combustion was over very fast okay but now it's still september 7th so what is combustion basically the word use is uh, asta okay asta literally has different meanings of course but many times people think that oh venus is combust now so venus has disappeared no it doesn't disappear <laughs> okay asta it does not mean disappear disappear the word disappear has a different uh, word in sanskrit okay asta does not mean that as they say surya ast ho gaya hai surya has asta <laughs> so it doesn't mean that the sun has disappeared okay it means that the effects of the sun is not felt in that way okay so whenever a planet gets combust when it is very close to the sun then what happens is see what what is the sun sun represents a uh, sacrifice okay sun is represented by the life of lord ram he had to sacrifice so many things in his life literally his whole life is a book of sacrifices nothing else no happiness no pleasure no bliss no nothing 
all challenges, difficulties and sacrifices at the end. Every area of his life he had to sacrifice. So that is what the sun is. But the question is, why should we sacrifice? Well, the goal of sacrifice is, as they say in Sanskrit, Tyaga. Tyaga Sangat Param Aushadi. <laughs> uh, they say that whenever something is troubling us, anything it can be, the best remedy for that is Tyag. Okay, Tyag means that we try, we alienate ourselves from that substance. Okay. So sometimes uh, many people tell me that, oh, I have so much money problem, you know, money, 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 money comes, money goes. Then I say that you can do some donations that will help you. Yes. So sometimes people have too many problems in relationships. Yes. They have divorce or they have breakups. They have so many issues sometimes. So then uh, you could try to practice celibacy for some time. Yes. By that you will know what is actually going on inside of you what is that you are trying to fulfill from the opposite sex which is already there inside you but the question is why should we sacrifice well we should sacrifice because there is something higher in life that is why scriptures recommend that we sacrifice something okay now what should we sacrifice during this transit well, it depends on which houses Venus rules in your chart, depending on your ascendant. Okay, so for example, if you are a Capricorn Lagna, then Venus is your fifth lord and the tenth lord. Okay, this is an example. And if you are Leo Lagna, then also Venus is your tenth lord. Okay, and it's your third lord. So depending on your ascendant, not sun or moon. So whichever houses Venus is ruling in your chart, depending on your dasha also, because whatever is in the dasha ultimately happens. Okay. So whichever houses Venus rules, you have to check in your life and just check wherever Cancer is placed, okay? So wherever Cancer is and the houses that Venus rules, regarding those houses, the rulerships, you have to sacrifice certain things, okay? So certain paths that you took earlier or from the last time when since when Venus went uh, direct I would say you know after retrogression from last year November uh, there is an area in your life depending on the Lordship of Venus you have tried your best to find a solution to it and what happens generally is that when the planet starts becoming combust when the last one or two months <clears throat> You would have noticed that you kind of feel burnt which means you feel that you have done too much but your efforts are not being rewarded so then what you try to do is you try to uh, find shortcuts okay so now when venus is combust depending on the houses of venus's lordship we should understand that the course of actions which we had taken earlier may not work now because this is starting from Ashlesha Nakshatra. Okay, and what is Ashlesha Nakshatra? Ashlesha Nakshatra is the snake. I mean, it's not the snake literally. <laughs> and it does not mean that it's a bad Nakshatra. But we all know what snakes do. You know, they change the skin. Okay. And that is very good for us sometimes. So, when combustion is happening, it is like a detox which we need to do for ourselves. Okay. So, we have to check that there are that maybe there are certain things in our life so suppose venus is your 10th lord then career or 7th lord then marriage or relationships that which uh, we are holding on to certain things regarding those areas okay which may not be in uh, line with our higher purpose our destiny our fulfillment our inner purpose and for that we might have to sacrifice those things so that we can pave our way for new things to come and so the most important thing is that we do not keep lamenting unnecessarily that oh this is gone that is gone you know this went that when i wish this was there i wish that was there so the point here uh, which i want to say is that when the snake is changing the skin it is for the good of the snake and it's for good of everybody but otherwise uh, the snake may have problems well, I will not go into details of snakes now because there's no time, but our situation is a bit similar. Okay, so 
there is something which we want to hold on to very strongly but holding on to that sometimes can create a lot of friction and a lot of pain in the hands yes hands or legs anywhere so now is the time that we need to break free from those bonds which we have put around ourselves yes the snake is coiling us like this and because combustion is happening now now if we put our efforts in a good way in a right direction then we can get rid of that skin all right and then we get a new skin which means a new life new paradigm yes everything is new so if it's your 10th lot then it could be your status sixth lot then job you know these things could happen at times or fifth lot it could be your children so the point is that now we need to make certain sacrifices and not focus on the uh, immediate pleasure which we can get sometimes okay so especially uh, now now of course this does not mean that suppose you are in a relationship and it is not working out many times people ask this though okay so you are saying sacrifice so should i uh, go and break the marriage or break the relationship no i i, I don't mean to say that what ultimately happens or what you end up doing is ultimately dependent on your dasha it is not dependent on the transit okay but if you want to know that what actually sacrifice means at a higher level it it is sacrificing your false ego basically yes that ego which says that i am the enjoyer controller and proprietor which we are not so when we realize this that lord krishna says in the gita na bhokta ram yagya tapasyam sarva loka maheshwaram suridam sarva bhutanam gyatvam am shantim rochati lord krishna says that i am the enjoyer controller and proprietor of everything that exists <laughs> so then the problem is solved then uh, we have nothing to hold on to in this world okay so we focus on our duty we do our responsibilities and then we leave the rest to god and the universe when we do that we will realize that the skin is now changing and we we are very soon going to become a better person in fact okay so that is very important because combustion is like old things which are you know imagine there is a machine where you are putting all the old stuff you know but sometimes you feel oh i have this watch you know this person gifted me this watch i don't want to put it but then the person is no no you must put <laughs> okay so that is how combustion can be sometimes so there can be some pain there can be some uh, hindrance there can be some lethargy there can be some laziness but now is the time that we must make the effort okay as in hindi they say abhi nahi to kabhi nahi <laughs> if not now then never uh, there's another uh, saying uh, i used to hear it in my school you know kal kare so aaj kare so aap something like this <laughs> which means it's not tomorrow it's not today it's now now is the time that we get rid of all things which do not serve our purpose okay and that can mean anything that can mean a schedule which we have been following but it is not serving our purpose it can mean issues with the health it can mean relationships it can mean people yes people my god toxic people who will always denigrate us who will always downgrade us who will always discourage us who will always try to pull us down okay or it can be our food the choice of foods that we are having for our body because you are what you eat that's the proverb right so the point is that if we do good and be good then the skin will change and a new skin will come out okay but if we are holding on just like you know snakes they coil around something or somebody have you seen snakes coiling around so if we keep coiling like this yes the we the way we have been from last 6 to 9 months then we may end up uh, troubling ourselves much more okay so there is some pain in sacrifice but the pain which we get by keeping ourselves coiled up in that serpent of bad habits of wrong habits of things that does not give us happiness is much 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 more it's millions of times more okay so now is the time that we can become a better person it's a very good time so let us uh, drink this uh, so called poison <laughs> 
okay so lord shiva also drank the poison you know he drank halal poison and ashlesha also has things uh, related to poison yes snakes poisonous snakes <laughs> So of course we cannot be Lord Shiva and we cannot imitate him by you know going and drinking some poison but let us try to drink even one drop of the poison which is there inside us all right and let us try to get rid of the poison inside so then we become a better person all right so that is my opinion until 7th September it will be there and after 7th you will see a new skin has come okay if you do the way you should do all right so that is it from my side if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit then you could always go down to the description section of my videos down below where you will find the link to my website to book a reading with me personally and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him before and after and during the combustion also okay thank you very much see you